But in the blues, I get you too. But today in Hero Beast, we're checking out the Toll Bar Blues minor version. Stay tuned. What is up guys, welcome to Hero Base, the place where we talk about bass, bass gear, music, related topics. My name is Norm, and I hope you guys are doing awesomely well. In today's episode, we're going to go straight to it and we're going to be talking about the 12 bar blues in the minor form. 12 bar blues, if you haven't seen my other video, the 12 bar blues is right over there. And uh, the 12 bar blues to me is one of those things that is, it should be essential to all musicians. It should be something we should all have memorized, at least the form, because, you know, we can add a bunch of different chords, which we're going to see in a little minute. But we can do so much with a 12 bar blues, it's not even fun. For today, I'm gonna teach you a 12 bar blues and then we're gonna spice it up a little bit, switching some of the chords, adding some jazz stuff to it, some 251s, which if you haven't noticed, we also talk about the 251 right over here. We're gonna go over 12 bar blues, a minor version, and uh, we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna go over chords and some stuff. Then we're gonna alter that a little bit and do a walking bass line. So right here, as you can see on, on screen, we have a G minor seven 12 bar blues. The first part of the exercise, I want to see the first four bars of G minor seven, followed by two bars of C minor seven, two bars again of G minor seven, one bar of E flat seven, one bar of D seven, one bar of G minor seven again, and another bar of D seven. Now this makes total 12 bars. This first A part sounds like this. After listening to our first example, let's move along to our second one, but this one is a little bit different. Walking baseline, you guys are gonna see it here. There's also a downloadable document right over here. You can go to herobase.com. Uh, there's a link in the description below, which will take you there. And there's a bunch of downloadable stuff. We're gonna have um, some of this material there. Also, we're gonna have that drum track that I made that you can also use it for your practice purposes and you know have this document as well with you. So um, with that being said, here we have this 12 bar blues. Um, a, a different version of it. Uh, first bar, G minor seven, second bar, D minor seven, two bars of G minor seven, then two more bars of C minor seven. Then we go to a bar of G minor seven. Our next bar is E flat seven. Then we go to a variation of a two, five, one. And we're gonna do this spread in the next three bars. So we have A minor seven, D seven, and G minor seven. And what I did in the last bar, instead of going again over the G minor seven, I went and did a split to five on the last bar that's gonna lead us all the way up to the G minor seven again to start the entire process again. I used the last bar, the two five chords as a turnaround to go back to our original chord um, at the beginning. This exercise was on something like this. As you can see, you can take a 12 bar blues and start adding little elements to just make it pop and make it sound different and make it more difficult if you want to call it that or more interesting, spice it up a little bit. Just substituting and adding chords and adding chord progressions inside of other chord progressions that can lead up to something big at the end. So I would urge you guys, if you haven't learned the 12 bar blues, there's a video over here also with some downloadable documents that's gonna be there. I can say this enough, I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Always thank you for your support. And I wanted to say thank you. So, and again, what I'm trying to do is give you guys tools that you can use to take your bass playing to the next level. So if you like videos like this, please hit us with a like, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't checked us out yet, check us out at herobase.com. You can check us out on Instagram at herobasenorth. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your support again. And I will see you guys what in the next one.